crucifixion was brutal. It was designed to inflict maximum pain, public humiliation, and ultimately death. Jesus was crucified. Nails were driven through his wrists and feet. As he hung on the cross, he would struggle for breath. His energy was gone, his muscles fatigued, his life was leaving him as he suffered the brutality of this public execution. This was no place for the King of Kings. Jesus was hanging alongside the criminals, mocked, beaten, and crucified. Jesus would suffer for the sake of the world. And when they came to the place which is called the Skull, there they crucified Him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide His garments, and the people stood by watching. But the rulers scoffed at Him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? Let us pray. Loving God, the cross was no place for your Son. He did nothing to deserve the punishment He received. Yet we know that He was pierced out of His great love for us. He was crushed for our iniquities, and the suffering that brought peace to us was on Him, and by His wounds we are healed. Today we pause to remember that your Son, our Lord, willingly endured the cross so that we may come to know the fullness of life. We give you our gratitude and praise for this wonderful act of love and grace. And we pray that we too may be a people who are led to live and love just as Jesus lived and loved. Amen. <music> 